what's going on? Um, yes, I've done a recent pickup um, lately, and I figured that I haven't been doing these videos in quite some time. You guys have heard a lot about milk, um, you know, in terms of the jewelry, in terms of, you know, the bags, and so and so. I've actually lost a lot of time in trying to, you know, show you guys what I've gotten recently or whatnot and went shopping and, you know, all the new trends and such. It's been a while since I've done any sort of video. You guys have been watching a lot of product videos, which uh, involves milk, you know, um, the jewelry aspect of everything, the bags, which has pretty much sold out. Thank you to all of you. Um, even the gray ones, the gray packs, the black packs, and the pouches are pretty much all gone. If you've ordered and you haven't received it yet, it's probably gone out. So you're getting those very soon. Um, I haven't been doing review videos, and all of you missed that, so I wanted to come back at you with a couple of things that I picked up um, just recently. You know, I've found some time in between and decided that I need to go pick up some stuff, so here they are. Um, this episode is going to be mainly focused on sunglasses. So to start everything off, um, I'm going to start from the oldest pair of sunglasses that I've ever purchased um, that are still somewhat in style, and then I'm going to move on up to the recent years and uh, show you guys what's in the style and what's in trend and what's cool about certain um, things. So I'm going to start with a pair of sunglasses that uh, I purchased a couple of years ago, but is still in style. Once in a while, I put it on, you know, just for fun or whatnot, but the styling of it is pretty cool because I feel like a lot of things that Diesel creates... Um, it's from a brand called Diesel, so a lot of items that um, Diesel creates, it's kind of like it works with, you know, every every other thing now and then, so it doesn't really go out of style too much. Um, so here it is. These glasses um, are shooter glasses, and the reason why I purchased them was that they were fun um, and sporty, and also they have the clear frames, but they are UV protected, so they are sunglasses, and they gradate from like um, like a light gray into like a clear, if you can see these, if you can see it, but um, these are shooter glasses, so they mimic the ones that the cops wear um, at the shooting range or whatnot, so this is what they look like, and these I've gotten quite some years ago, I would say maybe at least at least five and um, you know I still rock them once in a blue moon when I'm feeling like I don't want to wear anything like too crazy big framed um, still one of my favorites I kept them in a pretty good condition so this is what they look like and these are the shooter glasses from Diesel made in Italy so that's that okay and um, moving on to the next one is one of my favorites. It's also a Gwen Stefani favorite. She rocks a lot of their items and their company called Inidium. And this is the box. It's pretty beat up, so the box is sorry. It's like plain black box. They're called Inidium. And um, these have been through a lot. I bring them everywhere. They work with everything and they're fun. If you guys catch my if you guys do read my blogs, I've worn them in a couple of photos before. And um, they're simple, they're fun, they work with everything. They're white framed. Um, so they're more of summer glasses. You can still definitely rock them in the winter, but, um, you know, in the summer it's just more catchy, more sharp, or whatnot. I've actually scratched um, the original frames from these, so they're not as great as they used to be, because when I first purchased them, they had, like, the perfect tan brown, like, gradation that goes down that was so hot, and, like, the third day into wearing these glasses, I hung them on my jeans, and they caught like the side of a table and the whole thing just went shriek and it scratched up the, the glasses pretty badly. But um, these ones, I brought them to the optician and then they try to match it as much as they can for the brown frames and these are the frames that I added back on and swapped out. So this is what they look like and these are from Inidium. And these are from Inidium. And they're a Gwen Stefani favorite, so she loves rocking things that are produced by them. Uh, this actually fits me perfectly, so if you're Asian and you don't have much of a bridge on your nose, um, these glasses, they fit your face width-wise and also on the bridge area. And you're going to see what I mean uh, a little later on as I introduce more glasses to you. So these are these guys. So these are the Nidiums, white frame, aviator style. Uh, the size of the frame isn't too big, it's rather well, medium size of course, and they work with everything, you know, pretty much your wardrobe, casual, if you want to dress it up a little bit, so, that's what it is. And 
And then moving on, it's actually a cloudy day today, but I figured I'd do a daytime video because the lighting is somewhat a little better, especially for a sunglass video. And moving on, we have one of my favorites, which is the Ray-Ban Wayfarers Folding versions. So they do fold. You've seen this in my earlier videos, some of you. Um, new subscribers, you probably have to look back way before in the beginning for the video that where I featured these glasses. Um, these glasses are less crazy, less flashy. They fold out like that. And they're quite sturdy. So they're in that... They're quite sturdy, so they're in that tortoise shell um, print, and these are from Ray-Ban. They're called the Folding Wayfarers, and um, every hipster here in New York probably own a pair of these guys. Um, they fold out quite sturdy, and when you wear them, you don't even feel that they fold into so many different um, sectors, you know, you just feel like they're one whole glass and I feel like these are like the perfect investments that I've ever made because they save space, they don't, you know, take up a lot of space when you put it in your bag, so when you're just on the go, you just grab it and go. Um, and these are how they look like. They're pretty, they're pretty tinted, you know, so perfect sunglasses for the summer on super bright days and um, it gives you like a, like a brown, like a brown um, overview when you look. So the lenses are dark brown, Wayfarers. And the good thing about these also um, is that they don't tilt inward. Um, I know a lot of you, if you guys own Wayfarers, you know what I'm talking about, is that the glasses, um, when you look from the side, the, the classic Wayfarers, they tilt inward. Um, so they do poke at your face, and then they protrude from your face a little bit with a little bit of a wing finish um, and these aren't that because I can't wear those those don't look good on me these actually looked rather decent um, and they're straight they're not as tilted they're slightly tilted not so much and they work perfect for my face so um, there is an option there is a choice so make sure that you go to the stores and you speak with your associate and you know you talk to them and try to get the best one that fits your face um, yeah, so these are one of my favorites too. On my on my classic days when I just want to wear a t-shirt and a pair of shorts and nothing too flashy. So this this would be the way that I would go. A little bit more vintage, a little bit more um, you know, like preppy like, hipster like, whatever you want to call it. So these are the Ray-Ban Wayfarers folding. Uh now moving on, um Everybody, everybody needs a pair of aviators. Those are just something that is timeless, that's come back time after time in fashion. And, um, you know, a lot of companies already have it as a standard design. Um, you know, Prada, Gucci, uh, Ray-Bans especially. So this is my Gucci version, and you can see the, the box has been banged up a little bit. Um, I usually try to take care of my stuff really well. It's just hard to get around when you uh, start throwing stuff into your bag on the go. Um, so it comes in a Gucci case, and it's lined with the monogram felt print inside. And these are one of my favorites. Um, you know, like, I can always go for the classics, but that's not truly my style. You know, I like something with a certain twist, um, something sharp about it. So I did pick up these aviators from Gucci, and they have the perfect navy blue tint in them and lined with a red trim. So the red trim, I feel like, is, um, you know, like the, the accent, the detail for these glasses. I'm just trying to clean them because they're kind of, like, dingy. <laughs> so here we go. Um, so this is what they look like. They're the perfect navy blue tint. And um, the sides are red by the ear and also let me see, clean this I've actually owned these for like maybe like a year or two um, but I still rock them you know like I usually buy glasses that I can rock over and over again regardless of what year it is um, but I do end up picking up um, you know one or two pairs each year so it says Gucci over there I don't know if you guys can see but it's over here right yeah and then on the inside and these are not crazy flashy, um, but I do love them a lot. So this is what they look like. And they have more of like a teardrop, that's what they call it, like a teardrop shape that works with my face. Um, 
a lot of the Ray-Ban ones are more squared. I like these because they're more aviator looking. So they have that teardrop shape to the lenses. Um, they're silver trimmed along with the red accent across the top and to the ears and on the side. Um, and as you can see, all these glasses that I've shown to you thus far works with what I'm currently wearing. And it's just basically, you know, like a red hoodie, white t-shirt, and then blue jeans, you know. It's nothing too crazy. Like, I would stay away from colors where you have to work a wardrobe around it, like purple or like turquoise even. Um... So yeah, so these are the aviators. I love these a lot. Um, yeah. And they always come back. Like, you know, you rock them out this year. Maybe they're not so popular next year. But then they're definitely going to come back like two, three years later. And then you can pop them out again. And then you have a vintage pair in a sense. So yeah, these are a good option. Make sure you pick one of these up. And um, I'm not saying, you know, you have to spend like a shitload on glasses or whatnot. Um, if you want a pair of good ones, I would spend a little bit more. Um, you know, some people tend to just get the $10, $5 ones. If that's what's suitable for you, that's cool too. I just tend to, you know, buy nicer things so that they would last a little bit longer. And, um, you know, they just have a different gradation. Like usually if you buy like a $5 or $10 shade, all you get is that solid lens. Um, just one color flat but if you do want to spend a little bit more you know roughly in the 200s even the 150s like 150s to 200 um, you'll start getting things a little bit more detail accented you know um, you'll get things more um, detailed you know you get the little prints on the side and the gradations are a little bit different there's more variation in color and shading um, you know it, if you want to spend the money it, you get your money's worth in a sense um, but yeah, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of getting the finer things and wanting that luxury and, you know, it, work with your, work with your pocket. Now, moving on, let's see here. These are another pair of my favorite Gucci's, which I just recently saw, um, in Trey Song's, uh, in Trey Song's music video. He's rocking the same exact pair and I've actually bought these, like, a year and a half ago and he's just starting to wear them now um I've had them you know but anyhow <laughs> they're great glasses uh Gucci this is the case all right and I forgot what video it was that he was uh wearing them in but it's rather recent I think it's like love faces or sex faces or something I don't know like I I like his songs I'm not a, like a devoted fan I'm not sure I think it was sex faces I, I can't remember but this is what it is um so they're blue they're fun they have like the white and the classic Gucci label on the side and this is the blue label so it's like blue and red as opposed to like the classic green and red um and they're navy blue and these glasses come in black uh and red and blue and also a solid white so I decided to go with the blue because it's a little bit different from what I currently own. Yeah. So this is what it looks like on. And you see the gradation for these? I love these. These are like a dark, dark blue and then it goes into a clear. And um, I don't know what kind of plastic. Um, it's it's they're, they're plastic, but they're like a special kind of plastic. And they're quite pricey. These glasses, I think I purchased them for roughly like like three or four hundred dollars um in total something like that like 435 and um the good thing about these is that after a long period of wear when they do get a little loose or big on the face because these are pretty big frame glasses um live fast die young go all in break the labels and the phone stay calling first they couldn't figure me out funny how they all want a piece of me now and whose heart tell me who's really balling what's the number on the phone hey darling never would have pictured me now but you want to take a pic with me now 